Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. Boy, do I have a treat for you guys today. Stay tuned. All right, I am camping in Tucson, Arizona. I came down here to get my new Geo Tracker. Miss Blue right here and uh, I was camping on BLM land and when I came in last night I parked beside this bus and I met uh, Mr. Jerry who's the owner and uh, he's fixing to take off so we got to do a quick quick tour but we're so lucky that he's going to let us see it. This is a 1975 Super Crown coach and we had a little bit in common He's also got a 1992 Geo Tracker. I'm gonna walk around the outside. Mr. Jerry and his wife are fixing to leave. I feel a little bit, I feel a little bit pushed, but uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna walk around it here. How many watts of solar do you have up here? 1,580. 1,580. How many uh, watts of, uh, how many uh, amp hours of battery? 1,600 amps of AGM. Mr. Jerry, this is Mr. Jerry right here. I uh, forgot his wife's name. Patty. That's Miss Patty. I'm gonna walk around here. Why so much solar, Mr. Jerry? You say most, most? Much. It takes that much to run a electric refrigerator. And my skill saws and jigsaws and all my tools and um, everything else it takes to live. Where did you find a crown coach of all things? Actually, it's a, a LA bus, but I bought it out of Wenatchee, Washington. LA bus, but bought out of yeah. Washington. Look at the style, look at the style. They're from Oregon. So you, tr you say you travel, you've had this bus over 30 years? No, I've only had the bus about 15 years. But you go down to Mexico and spend half your time down there? Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. You, you guys got, uh, I'm so excited to show you the inside, I can't stand it, but we got to go around the outside so we don't miss anything here. That's a lot of solar. Well, it's as much as you could get at the time. The largest panels were made at that time was 158 watts. I got you. Now I'd like to swap them out for 300 watts. Right. Because on the shortest days of the year, like at the end of December, you know, for a week or two before, a week or, or two after the shortest day of the year, I either have to put up the panels mm -hmm. uh, for or run the generator a little bit. You said that you you run a um, the, the electric refrigerator. Have you ever considered going with a 12 volt? Uh, Something yes. more efficient? Yes. This refrigerator is $250. I understand. 12 volt refrigerator is $2,500 or somewhere $1,000 more. So, um, yeah. Okay. I know you're pressed for time. Uh -huh. the, the, the point is. It's got a rear view camera. We have no money. I understand. So that means we have to make life free, if at all possible. And so that's the reason for the electricity. That's a So that we can go wherever we want to live comfortably. Live and good. Not, and not uh, do without, because comfort is the name of the game. Uh, especially when you start to get older. Uh, this is a, a diesel coach? It's a 671, a Detroit diesel. Same rear end, or did you get something geared for higher? higher? No, I was going to, uh, because it, it cruises at about 60, and I wanted to go faster than that. But after I put about 20,000 pounds on it, then I realized you needed uh, it. how scary it was to drive down a road with all of that weight. Yes, sir. Uh, going 70 miles an hour. So I decided to leave it alone uh, because it, it does exactly what it was made to do and it does it well. What is your fuel mileage? Do you get eight? I get about nine. I get between eight and nine now. Before I put everything into it, I got up around 11 or 12. Okay. Uh, but now we're getting between eight and nine. Eight in, uh, over the passes and, uh, you know, nine on, in the flatlands. Well, which, you know, I think, I, think, I think 10 is the perfect number. All right, uh, can you show uh, the world this beautiful thing? The, the inside is just, it's just, uh, it's all inspiring. Let's go. Let's go. 
Did you build the inside of this bus out yourself? Oh, I built everything you see. All right, here we go. When you have no money to pay someone else, you do it yourself. This is a treat. You, are you guys ready? Here we go. Here we go. I've seen a lot of RVs, but this might be one of my most favorite. It, I, I, no, we're not even going to start in the back. i got to start with this shifter knob. Whose door handle did you steal? Actually, that came out of an antique store about 30 years ago. <laughs> you any idea how old that sucker is? I have no idea. But I love it. These are my switches for waste vegetable oil. I have an 85 gallon waste vegetable oil tank. Yes, sir. Electric heater. Uh, so I have 100 gallons of diesel and 85 gallons of waste vegetable oil. You smell like french fries going down the road? Uh, yes. Okay, that, that's fine. I like french sometimes fries. Sometimes chicken, sometimes uh, shrimp. You know, but... Woo! Now, here we go. Here we go. And I can stand up in this thing with no hat and no shoes. So I'm going to go barefoot. And my... I haven't washed my hair this morning, so if you get, my hair's all messed up, but like I said, this guy's in a hurry. Time to hit the road. Time to hit the road. I, I don't know where to start. Okay, tell me about this table. Uh, it's just a uh, slab out of a maple tree that was about eight feet long, and I cut it in half and stuck it together. It wasn't wide enough, so I got another piece uh -huh. put in the middle. Get your inset. Were you a carpenter by trade? No. You should have been. Uh, well, you have to be when you live on the road. If you can't do everything, then you're going to be in trouble. I'm going to get this lady on camera. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't run the missus out of her own house. <laughs> okay. So, you, you can come in. I won't get you. And you got to, you got to, well, I might tell you a little story. I won't lie. You got a wood stove here. Wood stove. It actually came out of a sunken sailboat in Mexico. A friend of ours, uh, took a sailboat down from Canada. It ended up on the rocks. Right. Uh, and so he went in and uh, knew that we needed a stove for the bus. Don't show my terrible, terrible. Hey, hey, is it warm? Uh, it's It'll burn you out of here. Okay, sure. okay. But, um, yeah. you, you draw air out of the bottom of your bus. Yeah. I you... welded up the damper in the front, welded, had this welded on, and then added the damper, which is the uh, valve here, well, is that's the just... damper, and it comes from the outside. That's for water and fluid. It, it, it gets it does air well too, huh? Yeah. yeah. It's a valve. It's a valve. So yeah, it works wonderfully. And uh, here's some more maple. Woo! Look at this big old refrigerator. That's how you keep the missus happy. Uh, yes, one of the one of the things it takes. Yeah, and then music. Got to have music. Is that a Bose? No, it's actually a B and W. Bowers and Wilkins. Gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, when you leave and I look back at this video, I'm gonna say, ah, I missed half the bus. Ham radio. Ham radio. I'm not gonna get you. I'll, I'm gonna promise you now. If I get you, it's gonna be by mistake. You'll be in I know. You, well, I'm easy to find. People know me. <laughs> this, see this, this, this is your furnace? Yeah. Is and it diesel it. fired or propane? No, it's propane. When all else fails. We, we rely on that one. Looky, looky, looky. Slick, slick, slick. Washer dryer. Now, you, now you're just showing off. Come on. Hey. I got to go to the laundromat today. Well, we don't usually use it when yeah. you're driving down the highway. So, uh, yeah, all of this is built out of the cheapest materials that money could buy. Uh, this is our storage unit. Well, yeah, that's the, my uh, my shower looks just like that. I'm working on it this morning. We just took a shower yesterday, but those are all the things that go in there when we're going down the road. And this is really uh, that looks like that doesn't look an RV toilet to me. It's a nice ceramic. This is really oh oh look look here for for big men like me, <laughs> give you a lot more room. How many fantastic fans? Uh, three, two, no, two. two. Okay. And you got to have them, you know, if you live in the sun and There's if you the, have there, solar, you have to live in the it sun. It is not an option. It is a must-have. Yeah. A Trimetric 2020 uh, 
battery monitoring system, 89% at uh, probably about eight, what is it, nine o'clock maybe mm -hmm. in the morning. So mine, mine just now got full. That'll be up to 100% by about, oh, on these short days, maybe about 1.30 or so. And then... Uh, Xantrep makes a good product. This you know is what? a, uh, yeah, well, this is a 3,000 watt pure sine wave inverter. 3,000? Which, which runs all of our electrical and uh, circuit breakers and blah, blah, blah. Look, this is look, at, look at this cedar woodwork right here, guys. This is Arkansas cedar and, and uh, pine from, and I'm not finished. I have a couple of sure. night, night stands. Oh, this, this is an RV toilet. I see the foot valve now. Yes, it is. But we've had it in here for, like I said, 15 years and been wonderful. I don't have a I don't have a bathroom door either. I got tired of opening and closing it. Yeah. Well, for two people. Just somebody you know, somebody's go out and got to take a walk for a minute, right? This is sequoia, actually, a piece of sequoia. Mm -hmm. Why didn't uh, well? Why didn't you just buy buy something? Why did you have to go build something this per, you know because you can. Because you had you know, to? Because I have to. I understand. If you don't have a job and you don't have money, then you have to do it. Well, you know, I think that's how people get handy. That's right. By making mistakes and learning from them and gaining knowledge. And, and then you get to this point where you're like... Uh, well, as Red Green says, um, if, the win, if the women don't find you handsome, at least they'll find you handy. <laughs> Shoot, yeah. What if they? What if? What if it's me? They don't find either one. I just built that this winter. Port Orford cedar. Oh wait, was that a ukulele? No, it's an electric banjo, electric five-string banjo. I don't know my instruments. My uh, no, it's an odd, oddball. That's okay. why I had to build it because I couldn't buy one. I'm gonna show oh, you. You don't want to look in there. That's that's the terrible place. That's the temporary place that's still there. All right. Well, what I'm looking at is the biggest Xantrex. I'm gonna show it. I got to look. It's 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 like the side, It's like another bus in here. The thing's so big. Good gracious. Two seventy amp outback charge controllers. Wee. Mm, mm, mm. Uh oh, bump the camera. Okay. Well, what what did you do right? What did you do wrong? And what would you do over? Well, of course, I didn't do, never did anything wrong. Yeah. But a lot of things I didn't do right. Well, you, I think you found the right girl. <laughs> well, you know, it's hard to find one that can keep up. Okay. Good deal. Good deal. <laughs> well, these people are these people are jonesing to get out of here. <laughs> Oh, what a treat, what a treat, what a treat. I'm not going to get you. You're pretty, though. I ought to. <laughs> uh, Mr. Jerry, what a beautiful bus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a treat. This is a treat, everybody. I hope you I hope you like it and appreciate it as much as I do. I'm so excited. I, I can't stand it. It's not every day we get to see something this fantastic. Okay. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. We'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye. That was fun.